Feature up at Golden Gate where the Bay comes to play on Saturday is the San Francisco Mile. It's a treat to be here with you, Jeff Siegel, Aaron Veracruzzi. Let's dissect race number seven, a mile on grass and a graded stakes event in Albany. Well, if you think you've seen this race, you did last year. Last year. <laughs> really, Summer Hit and Pepper Crown renew their rivalry. Pepper Crown actually beat Summer Hit in this very race last year. I'm not so sure that he can't do it again, really. I mean, there is plenty of pace in this race, although I do think Summer Hit is the controlling speed. Now, the question is, is Summer Hit as good now as he was then? He was off a layoff. He ran all right in a main track sprint on the all-weather, and that was a good tightener for him. Do you think Summer Hit now is sharp enough and fit enough to keep going? If Jerry thinks so, I'm going to trust in the king, Jerry <laughs> Hollendorfer in Northern California. Well, of course, Pepper Crown, though, wore him down last year, and Pepper Crown has the benefit of a recent win. He did that here at Golden Gate in an off the turfer on the all weather, but he can handle grass as well. As a matter of fact, first or second in all six of his lifetime starts at Golden Gate. And with plenty of pace to set up, he is a deep closer and Pepper Crown is gonna be firing late. I wanna ask you though about sure. another horse, Edge of reality. This yeah, is Graham Calvin Motion Graham. Shipper. Now, what about this horse? I mean, he's, he's been around the block a few times. He's been at Saratoga, Penn National Parks. He was at Santa Anita, Gulfstream Park West. Now he shows up at Gulfstream Park, uh, um, Golden Gate. He's got a, a style that should allow him to draft somewhere in the mid-pack. Boy, I don't, I've mixed signals on him. He ran yeah. two graded stakes races down here in Southern California at Santa Anita. Mm -hmm. Really was a no-show in both races. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the course. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the company. But to, to run on dirt last time out, I thought Graham was just trying to wake him up and mm -hmm. shake things up. A really nice second place mm -hmm. finish on dirt, which mm -hmm. he has never really shown an affinity for unless mm -hmm. it's wet. Right. Now you go up to the grade three San Francisco mile, that's a sign of confidence. Yeah. Motion's going back to graded stakes. But if he runs his last two races mm -hmm. in Southern California on turf, he's not good enough to win this race. You're probably right. I, I have a lot of respect for Graham Motion and I'm thinking that he's thinking the horse has a chance to fit. Yeah. But in looking at this field, I mean, summer hit is, is Hickory. Pepper Crown just, he owns the course. I'm not so sure we're gonna, not going to see a repeat of last year. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give you a long shot. All right. Okay. So Hollendorfer's got summer hit, one of the probable favorites, yes. if not the favorite. Yep. He's got Gigi Ryder, who's drawn inside, who mm -hmm. will also draw a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. And then there's Taruk Makto. Now, why would Jerry Hollendorfer enter a ten to one morning line, the highest priced Hollendorfer? Just saying. Mm -hmm. Why would he enter that horse into the Grade Three San Francisco Mile if he and the connections didn't think that he had a shot? Well, Jerry's not entering for the scenery, mm. even though he loves it in Northern California. Too big of a price, the highest price Hollendorfer, and you mentioned the pace. Mm -hmm. Plenty of speed signed on. Mm -hmm. He is a deep closer that will rely on this race to fall apart at the seams, and there's that big of a chance that it does, and if it does, when can you get Hollendorfer at $27.40? <laughs> not very often. Not very often. All he, right. He's speechless. I can't even talk him into the I'm going to go with Pepper Crown over Summer Hit, but I can't. I tell you what. Just you saying. You're just saying. You make a case for that horse. It's a very good race. It's the best race they've got really at Golden Gate this meeting, and it's a good grass race, and we'll be watching real closely. Don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> I say long shot. He says probable favorites. That's Siegel and Bert Creasy, San Francisco Mile, <laughs> where the Bay comes to play at Golden Gate Fields on Saturday.